Hi, I'm Emmanuel Husseini. I'm Jess Solomon. And welcome to Showbiz.com. No. Oh, oh Okay, sorry. Around this town. I'm all right. So we're here at the Millennium Library in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Uh, it's the week of the Winnipeg Comedy Festival, which is always an exciting week here in Winnipeg. Um, and we are here with Jess and Aman. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us, Winnipeg and Paul. Uh, library. <laughs> Every, every, everyone is welcome to have you here. We're so excited. Uh, you're both here for the Winnipeg Comedy Festival. You're both wonderful comics. Um, you're also a couple. You're a married couple. Uh, so the first question, you, oh, <laughs> uh, it's in your acts. <laughs> uh, the, first, yeah. the first question I wanted to ask is, how's the, uh, the comedy couple uh, experience? I think it's uh, great for you. Not as good for me, maybe. I don't know. Um, no, I'm well, kidding. Well, Iman, Iman's <laughs> material revolves around, like, you talk a lot about being, like, very in love and how um, I've ruined your life <laughs> in that way because she used to be very productive. And, 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 and my stuff is a bit more, um, I guess I make it a little bit more fun. So um, most of the time people don't put it together because we're not necessarily on shows at the same time. So if she's not there and I'm just, like, making jokes about my wife, people are, like, oh, they laugh a lot and they're, like, into it. It's a little bit different when you've just gone on before me, I right. think, like it happened today at the library. And then I'm, you know, I make a joke about her in a role play situation. And then people are like, oh, but she's right there. We know who she's talking about now. Yeah. And I don't know if it makes it more exciting or if they get more tense. I don't know. It, it, it changed the dynamics shifts depending on the, if, on if, the setup. If they yeah. know that I'm in the room, they laugh extra hard at the bitchy line when you call me bitchy. Yeah. So that's, I don't, I don't know if I should get insulted or what, that they're all on your side when it comes to that. Well, but. they know that I'm telling the truth <laughs> and they have evidence of it because <laughs> they've just seen you on stage. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, yeah, we can see that. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah. but it's fun. I mean, I think like your, to your question about um, like how we come up with material and that kind of thing, um, since we have a lot of shared life experience together, sometimes we talk about whether a joke makes sense or something that happened makes sense to come like for me to do that joke or for her to do that joke, depending on, yeah, like who, who, who it makes sense to come like from whose perspective it makes sense that it come from. Yeah. Well, that's it. I think, I, I don't think we've ever really competed for a joke or like an idea. Cause obviously we talk about everything. Um, so from politics to religion to whatever it is, our relationship or the way we perceive like an interaction with a family member or, or whatever. But I don't think we've ever argued like I have to take that joke. I think it just yeah. naturally goes to whoever it suits better. Yeah. Does it make sense coming from a Palestinian? Does it make sense coming from a Jew? Does it, is it more like something I would say? I mean, I guess I'm a little bit, I do a little bit more sex stuff and you do more religious, religious stuff. stuff. Yeah. So it depends on, I think it breaks down pretty easily. And our perceptions, although like we're very similar at, at the core, you know, our core beliefs and stuff like that, like we both enjoy bacon and that sort of thing. Um, <laughs> but so you, you know, the core is... beliefs, the important things in life. Uh, but I do think our perceptions are quite different. You know, we, we've seen like many movies together, obviously, and I feel like the way we understand it is could be could be different. And that helps with our individuality as, as comedians, I think. Iman really wants you to know that we haven't just melded into one person, <laughs> that we have clear identities, because yeah. that was something she was afraid of, um, coming into a well, relationship. She'd never been in a relationship I know, before. now I'm just, yeah, yeah it's true. I, I, I was so scared to become like this loser, like who, who doesn't have an identity and individuality anymore, but I think, I think we do have distinct uh, individual uh, individuality, but I, I do love wearing <laughs> matchy clothes. Like that's how I, I become... A loser in a relationship and we uh we yeah and photo shoots are I big love photo uh, shoots. we actually um had a professional photo shoot for our, our christmas card That's this right. year so we're uh we are we are that, that we couple. are that couple yeah, that yeah. Always I, mean, I think made we should just uh, lean admit, into it yeah just lean into it yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah um it's uh it must be nice though to have uh you talked like as far as uh deciding who talks about different things on stage in general it must be nice having a built-in comic to bounce ideas off of like in the house instead of having to go outside of that to like find other people to like bounce ideas and that kind of thing 
Yeah, I mean, um, it's it would be so annoying, I think, for someone who wasn't a comedian. And maybe it is annoying for you anyways. But uh, so many times, I really feel like I, I'm one of those comedians, unfortunately. I don't ever know what's funny. Like, I, I really, it's a real trial and error process for me. Like, some people have a better sense. Um, so, yeah, I mean, all the time. I'm like, Iman, what's, is this funny? Is that funny? Is this funny? Is this funny or is that funnier? You know, and I, I couldn't do that with Anybody somebody else. who wasn't a comic. Yeah. Um, so it does save me. A little bit of time uh, at open mics, I guess. I don't have to, I don't know. I don't go to open mics as much anymore. Yeah. Because I got this one. No, <laughs> for open mic. I don't know. It's hard for me. It's hard for me to really ask uh, people's opinions when it comes to jokes. I mean, she's like uh, trained me to like ask a bit more. I don't think I ever did before. Yeah, you don't, you don't ask me as much. I definitely I just, rely on you I'm more. just like really hard-headed and I have, whenever I have an idea in my head, like regardless of what people say, I'm like, I'm going to try yeah. it. Even if it bombs, I'm like, I don't care. I want to try it. I'm like, I believe in this. And I, I tend to like really get married to my material and not give it I'm, up for a long, long time, <laughs> which bother, you know, she'll tell me, she's like, that joke hasn't worked ever. Like, just drop it. I'm like... I still believe. I'm married to you. I'm not married to my material. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Now, uh, you're here in Winnipeg together for part of the festival anyway. You're, you're, uh, Iman, you're doing earlier shows in the festival, and Jess, you're doing later shows. Um, But uh, you do lots of festivals and shows uh, apart, like touring and things like that. Is it nice to be able to do certain festivals like this one together and have that experience on the road? I mean, for me, uh, <laughs> it's, it's nice. I do like that, um, you know, we, we've been in a relationship now for quite a while, and I do appreciate when we get booked separately and when we get booked together, and nobody really overdoes it, so mm-hmm. that's really wonderful. Like, Jess came to Winnipeg two years ago. Uh, she got into the fest, and I didn't, but I still, like, you know, was able to come as her comedy wife, and, and that was fun. So we, we have the option. If we have the option to work uh, separately or together or, you know, join each other on yeah, the road. Yeah, like just for it's laughs, nice. yeah. I, I just came uh, with you because, right. you know, yeah. I wasn't in the festival and I just partied for like the whole fest, you yeah, know, yeah, I didn't have any responsibilities. Exactly. I just, you know, made sure I was there for her for whatever she needed, if Mary moral pictures. support, um, you know, just outfit check or you know just yeah Instagram husband Instagram husband (laughs) as a very big part of my role outside of comedian and um and so that's fun but I think like the main thing that's really great when we get to tour together is just the I'm more likely we're more more likely to explore a city if we're not alone you know like especially out west we went up to Lake Louise and yeah and then um and like yeah I probably wouldn't just go like by myself from Banff or, or Calgary rather to Lake Louise and it's just, go lock, on a hike and do a romantic you'd like, lock we, yourself we, into the room and I'd just like not do anything and, and I'd like bar hop like that's what we do yeah if we were all alone <laughs> I'd be like on my computer and yeah. she'd she'd be uh, at the bar wine tasting all over town yeah, you, yeah exactly <laughs> you'd find Derek somewhere yeah. Derek Singer he's here at the festival <laughs> Yeah, you guys would off you. I, you yeah, you'd be yeah. off drinking. And- it's nice that we have the option. Right. That's yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, those are. That's how it breaks down. Yeah. Um, Now, uh, part of your uh, uh, working together and your experience together has come out in a web comic uh, that you have. That's uh, really funny and really good. Uh, uh, can you talk a little bit about uh, the genesis of that and who came up with the idea and the artist that you have working for you and all of that? Because it's very funny. It's very well well done as far as the art as well. Thank you. Absolutely. Um, it was uh, Jess's idea. I, I'll never forget when you brought it up, just the idea of putting our, our life in a cartoon, which I thought um, would be so efficient rather than like writing a script for a sitcom or writing a script for a movie. Like this is something that we could offer uh, to people right away. Um, so she's definitely... Yeah, it was sort of the idea of there's so many funny things that happen every day. I, it really started because we were writing a lot of statuses on Facebook oh, yeah, that were sort of back and forth dialogues <clears throat> that people seem to be enjoying, um, either between ourselves or just us individually with the world or something, you know. And uh, we have a very close friend who's done all, a lot of most of my graphic stuff, this guy named Jesse Brown. He lives in London. He's amazing. Um, and he did like our wedding invitations and he's drawn us before for other stuff and we've always talked about wanting to do something together he's extremely talented and so we're really lucky because that's 
I mean, the whole thing is the to is have how him he's as a family captured, friend too. captured so it. Great, and, yeah. Um, so yeah, so the idea is eventually to have a, a cartoon sitcom on television. That's obviously the end goal. But it, those kinds of goals in comedy of your life start to seem so big and you don't necessarily sit down and attack them in the same way. So this was a small way for us to start to put ourselves out there as uh, characters, um, try to build a little bit of a social media following that then we could... Um, parlay into maybe an animated like shorts and then maybe eventually um like voice ourselves in a sitcom or well, that's it yeah. i was thinking if like we, we'd get a sitcom or a movie they'd want like to get younger oh yeah thinner oh for sure actresses people who know, also know role. how to act yeah we yeah. never we were not we were not gonna get hired for the job act so scared. we're like ex- see, yeah, see yeah, i'm no. not i'm not good at acting but um <laughs> that's why i thought a uh, uh, cartoon and animation would be perfect because then they could use our voices we like could... they, they can't be like oh your voice is too old or too fat you know so <laughs> don't underestimate <laughs> what hollywood can yeah. hear in your the voice breathing, the breathing <laughs> is too heavy yeah. that, that, that breathing has been going on for uh over 35 years so uh, sorry um yeah no but we 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 do it was something that we could wrap our head around doing and um and our friend wanted to get on board so it's fun we, we were having a lot of thank you for your the compliments and if people want to follow us uh the the handle is at the l solomons um instagram is the best place but it's also on twitter and facebook yeah if, uh, instagram was a really good format i think for it because you can post multiple photos and kind of follow yeah. along that way which is really neat thank you yeah so i think and then maybe eventually we'll be able to do like a little shorter like little animations and um we did one gif i think but it wasn't like it was just we it went too fast <laughs> And then we, we got it. We got so many likes on it. We're like, we, we didn't want to take it down and redo it. So we, we left it. And we're like, next time we'll, we'll slow the gift down. But, um, but yeah, so we were doing the two sliders, um, which I find are pretty fun and a good way to sort of get that first premise and then the punch of the second one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Instagram's a good social media, I think, platform. It hasn't been infiltrated by Cambridge Analytica yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it's owned by Facebook, so. Yeah, you know, yeah, just as I was saying that, I was like, wait, didn't I just link that business account? And I feel like I just made our Instagram a business account, our L. Solomon's, and it was linked to the Facebook. Anyways, uh, <laughs> hi, Cambridge Analytica. <laughs> just, yeah. Set us money for our data, thanks. Um, uh, and then finally, I just want to talk about the Winnipeg Comedy Festival itself. Uh, like I said, Iman, you have some earlier shows in the festival. By the time this video goes up, uh, be you'll be gone. Um, so uh, you can plug them, but uh, no, one, it'll be too late for everyone. But yeah, uh, Jess, you have a, a gala coming up later in the week. So can you talk a little bit about uh, the gala and your general experience uh, with Winnipeg? And you, you were just in Winnipeg I'm on, uh, in the fall. So you can both talk about your general experience in Winnipeg. Well, yesterday we were at the, uh, the, the Forks, uh, that sort of food court the mall. Commons the, commons, the Commons. The Commons. The Commons and at the Forks. At the Forks. Is that it? And sure. they had a uh, cute gift shop upstairs, and there's a bag, a tote bag that said, Winnipeg, it's, it's better than you think. It's cooler than it's you think. It's cooler than you think. And honestly, I was like, yes, I, it, it's like, I think the city is awesome, and, um, and it's not, it doesn't have uh, the buzz that it like, deserves, it deserves, I think. It's still like kind of underground. Um, the festival is, I mean, they treat you uh, so, so well. Um, everybody that works for the festival is so friendly. The hospitality is incredible. And the shows are always packed. And um, I don't know, the audiences here just appreciate art. They're um, very progressive. It's also kind of still a blue collar town. There's like this kind of like interesting combination of like blue collar town, reminds me but of also Pittsburgh. progressive. When we went to P- uh, Pittsburgh, yeah. we loved Pittsburgh. It had the perfect combination of, of blue collar and hipster and open minded yeah. and interracial and multicultural. I don't know. I'm such a fan of Winnipeg. It's like my. My third year coming, I try to like have a solo show whenever I have a Western tour. Um, so yeah, I try to stop in Winnipeg all the time. It's such an awesome city. I'm it is. It is cold, but it is sunny. So that's uh, you know that balances itself out. Yeah. And the the gala that I'm doing this year. So yeah, I, I'm a big fan of this festival also because I had my first TV experience here two years ago, um, and uh, and it was what was the theme? Born This Way. And this year I'm doing a Canadian theme gala. Um, so it's been interesting developing the material because um, I have, it's harder to work it out in New York. So I've been coming, so I was on a Western tour and I have a chunk about Justin Trudeau, um, which isn't um, that critical of him. Um, it's not super positive, but uh, I think it's very funny. But people at West uh, were not into hearing anything about him. So we're going to see how Winnipeg uh, reacts. <laughs> um, I think it'll be, I think it'll be fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And um 
yeah, I have a, I, I close out on some um, Canadian porn titles. Yeah. This is my big closer. So I uh, look forward to that. It's She's going to look great too. We've done like 75 outfit changes and trying to figure out the perfect outfit. Um, so that alone, we might be overselling. We might be overselling. No, I mean, we've we got some good stuff. I think it'll be great. I think I'm going to, I'm going to wear my velvet, uh, bomber. Have you guys seen Queer Eye for the straight guy or Queer Eye? I Just Queer, Queer Eye, Eye, the new Queer Eye. Okay. Well, there's one of the guys wears bombers all the time and I'm Karamo and, uh, I feel like Karamo when I wear my bomber. So I'm going to be bringing some of that. Karamo's I mean, black, be, by I, the way. He's a black guy. Know. He's a black gay guy. And he's, uh, he's very attractive. So you see how they... So yeah. yeah so I just, I'll be serving up some Karamo uh, at my gala. <laughs> Stylistically. So please, please go see my wife because I'm not going to be there and she's going to want, you know, give her all the support and love. But not too much love. Don't make her cheat on me. Okay. So <laughs> just go see her gala. And for anyone not in Winnipeg, uh, where can they see you next? What's coming up uh, for both of you? I'll be actually, when Jess is filming her gala in Winnipeg, I'll be in Niagara Falls uh, at Yuck Yuck's headlining. And uh, all over New York City, I go across Canada often in May. I'm doing my Western tour again. So I'll be in Edmonton, Calgary, and Vancouver. Um, yeah. And then, I don't know, back, back to New York. I'll be in Montreal the last weekend in May at the Comedy Nest, but otherwise, uh, yeah, around New York, Philadelphia. Oh, yeah, uh, Philly, too. JessSolomon.com. Um, I'm starting to use MailChimp, so I'm going to be writing if you want to sign up for my newsletter on my website. I now know how to use that, so I'll send uh, little bits of uh, MailChimp uh, every so often to the fans. So, yeah, become a solo monster. That's, that's my <laughs> new thing. I don't know what you think about it. <laughs> But I'm, I'm, I'm leaning into that, too. I, I think it works. Solomon, be a, become a solid monster. Give me, give me your email. And do, you, do you have one like that, too? Um, yeah, I think mine is, like, ruder, though. Like, become my bitch or something. It's horrible. Oh, I have God. to update it. It's so horrible. I'm no, but sorry. you used your, your e-manifique <laughs> online. e entertainment E-entertainment. my website. That's yeah. correct. So, yeah. It's, you also use your last name in creative ways. It's true. Except for the sign-up. Maybe that's why nobody has signed up to my newsletter. Nobody wants to be my bitch. I get it. I'll change it. We need some more submissive fans. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks so much. Thanks for having us. This is awesome. Thanks, Paul. Showbizmonkeys.com.